my con story is uh, closer home than you think because I was conned by an auntie. <laughs> And it's very interesting. Um, she was very well known to the family. And uh, she was married to an uncle of mine. So that makes her my auntie. And so when my uncle died, uh, at some point, uh, there was no contact. We did not see her for quite a while. Then she reappears and uh, she contacts my mom and tells my mom, oh, I have this job at KQ. And uh, I know you have daughters. So I've already done everything, so they're already through, so they just need to pay some amount of money, and uh, they need to take photos, and uh, everything will be fine. And uh, she even started visiting, like she'd come to my house, and uh, you know, I'd give her stuff, like I'd give her shoes, and I'd give her clothes, like she'd look at my shoe, and she's like, hey, that's a nice shoe, what, what's your size? I'm like, I'm size eight and a half. I rarely find size eight and a half, you know? And because she put out this picture of someone who was doing really well, like she'd have a car with a driver downstairs, so you'd be sure that she's doing well. So even when you give her something, because you give her, you're like, I don't wear this anymore. She's like, oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 you know. And so she, she admitted two of my sisters and said, so these, they've gone through, so all they need to do is pay 40K each. That is all they need to go through and she even bought them suits you know those skirt suits so we struggled and struggled and i struggled and we gave her 80k okay and she said there's space for three more people who could afford 40k and these are people who are already going through like you paid the 40k you already have the job so you just need to pay 40k because she needs to, you know, she needs to grease a few hands here and there and everything is fine. So my sister calls a friend of hers. My mom calls her cousin and tells her, that daughter of yours, uh, no, she still doesn't have a job. Look for 40k now. Look for 40k, there's a job. So we got three more people. And she bought for my two sisters skirt suits to go and take photos. And for us, that was such, such a big gesture. Like I'm like, wow, this is actually real. She's actually bought my sister's skirt suits with her own money. <laughs> and you know, all this time she comes to my house, like every weekend she'd come. And every time she was coming, it was such a big deal. Like we'd make her lunch and we'd buy her drinks and we'd really talk. And you know, we were sure, we were all really, really excited that finally my sisters had gotten a job. Then the other three ladies also pay her, 40K each. Then now we start looking for her. You know, my sisters even went and took photos. You know, she already had a studio. And she said she'd even paid for the photos. So you just dress in the skirt suits and you go and you take photos. There are no interviews. Everything is already set. And we even had paperwork that looked very legit. <laughs> After years, I said, I said, I said, you know the number she used to call us on was not going through one day we met this guy who brought her to my place one of the drivers because she used to come in different cars so she put out this picture of uh, larger than life that she was doing really well so one day I see this guy and I'm like wait a minute this is my auntie's driver and so I'm like, hey, uh, we've been looking for this woman, what's happening? And I said, ma, me, she just hired me for that day. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Now let me tell you the worst thing. My sister's friend, who had struggled and paid the 40K to her, brought cops to my sister. Yes, my sister was arrested. <laughs> she was taken to Langata police. And she spent two nights there. And you know she was crying. And we are trying to explain to this friend of ours that we don't even know what happened. We, we can't even get her. We also lost money. And she's like, no, she's your auntie. So you conned me. You and your auntie conned me. It was really, really bad. And we looked for her. And after that, it was just here, say, oh, we have, she lives in Umoja. She's, be, she's been spotted in Umoja. You know, the case was now with the cops. Oh, now we've heard that she lives in uh, Uhuru. 
you know, very funny, you know, very funny movements. She's here, she's there, and it was all hearsay. And we've never found her till now. She's never contacted us till now. When was that? That was in, uh, like, I'd say maybe five years ago. And I think for me, that was the biggest, you know? I've had these small, small ones where someone has told me, oh, just pay, I'm going to bring you shoes, then they disappear, you know? Uh, 3K, 4K, 5K at most. But for me, this is the biggest, like, I'll never forget it. 40K. And because it was two sisters, that was 80K gone. Plus these other three. And this cousin of my mom's, my mom called her and told her, you know, bring your daughter. They don't even speak up to now. Because for her, she feels that it was, it was a collaboration <laughs> between us and this auntie of mine. And she went and she disappeared and that was it. So all we hear is, oh, she's not doing well or things are, going, are not going good for her. And I just told myself, you know what, it's all just karma. Mm. For all that she did, I will never forget. I said never again. Mm. You know, and now when I sit and think about it, I'm like, even you, Jackie, seriously. Since when do you get a KQ job just like that? At the, all you have to do is pay 40K. Then so many people would be working if that is all it takes, you know? Yeah, so for me that is the biggest con story I've ever gone through. We tried following up with the cops, but it was so hard. And I think she had a lot of connections, you know, here and there. And, uh, you know, in Kenya especially, the wheels of justice really take their time, you know. So you spend half your life going to courts and always going to police and stuff like that. So you think about it and you're like, you know what, uh, let the justice come from somewhere else because you really can't deal, you know. You'd spend a lot of time just trying to follow up. As I told you, you know, like the cops tried following up and then they tell me, now we've seen the signal, her phone, she's in Umoja. Then after a month, she's moved. So I think she kept moving because she knew what she'd done. I think this is something that she'd done for a very long time because you'd believe her. You'd believe her, you know? And she used to come with gifts. Like she'd come and she'd bring like a football set, like of uh, a football jersey for my son. And you know, like, uh, you know, those sort of gestures really got me believing her and just feeling like she's really a good person. But she just wasn't. Because now when I think about it, even for the skirt suits that she bought my sisters, a skirt suit would probably go for a one five or 2,000 shillings at most. Yeah. What's that compared to 40K, you know? So she played her game really well. She did it really well. Her name is Grace. I hope she watches this. <laughs> I hope she watches this so she knows that uh, we still remember. We still remember, we can't, we can't forget, you know. We laugh about it all the time now because, you know, but at that time, especially when my sister was arrested, it was really difficult, like, it was really hard, it was really hard. When they say Nairobi ni Shambalamawe, they actually mean it literally. I mean, you can be conned by anyone, anytime. Sometimes it's even hard to trust your own blood. Baba anakon mama, mama anakon mtoto, mtoto anakon sister yake. So, you've got to janjaruka. Sisa nafa kufanya? Niambie ni nidu? Ani umetoka Nairobi gani wewe? Mini lifilika na ungea mamangu. Ya hizi ni bebe ufala hivyo. Ini Nairobi, wezi juo mpaka iku hapenye? Una expect ni vanya nini? Itabili mfiki kitu ni tradu. Fiki nini, fiki nini hapa? Tumuzi wetu. Minataka pusa zangu. Aya, chumikie basi. This is Janjaruka series. Watch it on YouTube. I am Jackie Nyaminde.